Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites I've had over the past few months or so. I haven't done a favorites video in a while, so I'm really excited to do this. I think I might have to do another one pretty soon after this because I think I have a really big list. But I'm just gonna share with you a handful of things I've been loving lately. Okay, so I do have a couple of books I want to recommend. The first one is The Road Less Traveled. This one is one that you always hear about, but I finally got around to reading it, and I really loved it because it talks about love, spirituality, religion. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this. I read this over the summer. It's not that long of a read, um, but I highly recommend this one if you want to read like a self-helpy type of book. So this is another one I picked up recently. This is Advice from a Spiritual Friend. This one I found at a used bookshop in Seattle. I was just there a couple of weeks ago and I haven't finished this one yet, um, but I'm kind of in the middle of it right now. And it's just about being a more compassionate person and finding your own happiness and all of that stuff. So I'm in the middle of this now. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but so far I really like it and it's a really quick read too, which is good. I do have a couple of beauty favorites. Uh, the first one is this Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. This one I have in Dark Brunette and the pencil is very fine. It gives you just enough color where you can build it up and it's pretty waxy too. And this one is vegan and cruelty free and there's also a little spoolie on the other end. So this is what I've been using for my eyebrows lately and I really love it. The next thing I've been using a lot is this Make Joshua Tree Bronzing Brick. I've had this for quite a while, but I've been using it more so lately. And this is what the color looks like. I'll just use it all over my cheeks and my nose and then sometimes I'll put it on my lips a little bit and on my eyes so it's all very monochromatic. But I just think the color is really pretty because my skin is so fair and this just gives me the right amount of color. And they have three shades, but this is the lightest one I believe. So I've been doing a little bit of ceramics with Christine because she has a studio right by her place so we were going a lot over the summer and I've made a few things. This is a cup I made. This one I made on the wheel. This is like the first thing that I made so it's really small but it's very cute. And um, I've just been hand building a lot too. So I've been making little foods like I made these little gnocchis and I also have some pancakes that I made. These were supposed to be coasters, but they came out a little too small. Um, so they're just kind of sitting on my bar cart right now. And I made uh, little butters for my pancakes too. I just think they're really cute. And so I just have these all over my apartment. And, uh, oh, I have this cowboy hat I made. This was one of the first things I made too. It kind of uh, broke in the kiln, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, just making a lot of little ceramics has been really fun. And speaking of ceramics, Christine got me a Peter Shire mug because I've wanted one for a really long time and she surprised me with it um, a while ago, but I absolutely adore it. I think it's super cute. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> My next favorite is a film called Tampopo, and this came out in 85. It's a Japanese film, and it is described as a ramen western, which is their take on a spaghetti western. And there's really no linear plot. It's just kind of all over the place. It's really quirky. It's beautifully done. All of the shots are gorgeous. I'm gonna leave some of my favorite stills here. I had so much fun watching this movie. It just kind of breaks all the rules of like traditional cinema. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Letterboxd, you're more than welcome to. I record everything that I watch and I rate and review things and also I add things to my watch list all the time. So if you're curious as to what I'm watching currently, I have an account on there. I highly recommend it. It's really fun. I've talked about Letterboxd before in a favorites video, maybe like almost a year ago. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend that if you enjoy watching movies and want to keep track of everything they're watching. And my last favorites are these rings that I have on. I've been wearing them like crazy. This first one I just got from Estee's Daisy collection. This one they sent to me. I love it. There are moons all over it. It's really hefty. I feel really fancy in it. And the other one that I have that they sent me a little while ago is this one, which I think is really pretty and dainty. 
And this one I got for my birthday as a gift. This one is a little shell ring from Wolf Circus. So I've been wearing this a ton too. So those are my favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And like I said, I might have to make another one pretty soon because I am going to Japan. I'm sure I'll have lots of stuff to share with you guys. And I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of stuff because I haven't done one of these in quite a while. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to share anything you've been loving over the summer or currently, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.